Good morning. This is Michelle, your CDA instructor, and I'm going to make a little video for my candidates who have never seen a CDA portfolio before and may be wondering what that will look like and um, how the assignments will go over the eight modules that you'll experience in the CDA program. Um, so your CDA binder with all of your work that you're doing for your assignments in the modules will be put together either as you go along or at the very end of the process. And I save all of your work in a folder, but you can save it too if you know how to do that. If you want to learn how to do that, um, just ask me and I'll be happy to send you information about how you can do that on your computer. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is open up the modules um, throughout module one to eight, because I know you can only see them one at a time, but I want you to kind of have the whole picture of how this will go. So you can see I'm in module one and I open it up and pretty much I see what you do. And what happens is then, of course, in the last assignment of each module, if there's four assignments, it'll be assignment four. If it's two assignments, it'll be assignment two. So I'll show you that as we go along. But it will be the last assignment usually. You'll see portfolio piece is there. So whenever you see that in an assignment, you'll know that this is something you will save for your portfolio. It's possible that some of the other assignments you will also want to use. So you should keep all your assignments just in case, but remember that I'm also keeping them. Um, so you can see here's the directions of what you should do. When you create your competency statement, this is what it will look like. I'm gonna switch screens here so you can see. There we go. All right, so in your competency statement, um, you're making a statement of competence. You're showing the CDA Council visitor that you're able to demonstrate knowledge in the area. So in this competency statement, you are demonstrating knowledge under safety and health. And here is the learning environment statement. Then you have CS1A, where you're looking at the menu, 1B, the classroom schedule, and the classroom environment. And then 1C is also looking at those classroom environments and schedules. Then you'll notice competency statement two. And then under that, there are several categories. So under each one of the competency statements, you will see listed in the assignment, I'm gonna pull back up the, assi the assignment, you'll see what it tells you to do for each one of these. So when you go to type it up, you would put CS1A, and then you would reflect on the menu. You do not need to write the directions in there. If it helps you to put the directions in there to remember what to write, that's perfectly fine. Um, we can always take them out when you make your binder. So I'm going to go back through and let you see how this looks in the other modules. So you'll see module two, and then you have five assignments here. And then in your last one, you have your portfolio piece. So that's how it will go for every single module. You will do some assignments. And then you'll notice when you get to the last assignment in the module, it will have your portfolio piece. And you'll see sometimes it will say RC and then it'll have a number behind it. So your resource collection items are things like menus, schedules. In this case, you're doing a bibliography of books. Um, so that's also part of your binder for your CDA when you do your visit the visitor will look at your binder so if you look back here let's go back to module one 
you can see the resection, excuse me, the resource collection items are things like your first aid course card, your weekly menu, your weekly plan. So you notice there's two types of things that go in your portfolio, the resource collection items and the competency statements. Okay, so I just wanted to show you kind of how that goes. And then again, I'm going to let you look at I'm going to let you look at these competency statements. So again, you have competency statement one, and then she has some more statements there, some parts to it. Then she has two, and you can see it's going to go all the way to competency statement five. So you can see what these look at look like. You notice that she has not um, written out the directions or the questions. She's just answered them as they're written in your module assignment. If it helps you to write them, you're more than welcome to do that. All right, I hope that little video will help you understand it a little bit.